All right, I just took the quad lander, quadcopter highlander off out of my hand, which was really easy to do. That was nice. Um, at this point, I don't know how impressed I am with the camera on this unit. I mean, it works. Cannot handle transitions from dark to light. Seems a little choppy, and if I get farther than maybe half a football field away, 50 yards, seems to start cutting out or I lose control. So I'm not I'm not too sure about all that. Um, easy to fly. I like the quad, uh, quadcopter Highlander because it is a great first learn how to fly quadcopter. That's that's all I have to say. Look, it's pretty high up in the air there. I'm way up there, but you can't really see. Look at the transitions are really bad from day to night. My neighbor's got one of those Phantom 4s or whatever they're called, and the camera work is so much better. Of course, it's uh, five times the price, you know, five $600 quadcopter compared to this one, which is $100 at Bimart. Yay, Bimart. Plug, plug. Um... What else? I, you know, it's, it's easy to use. I don't have to worry about if I crash into myself. I know that it won't cut, cut me up. You know, that's sort of nice because I'm not, this is my first quadcopter and I'm not a really good pilot yet. But this is sort of where we're at here. A little practicing, spinning. You can tell I'm not good with the camera work. I got it set on high speed here, I think has five speeds and it might be on four or five because there was pretty windy out there and if I put it on speed one it wasn't strong enough to overpower the wind it might hover against the wind but I didn't want to take that chance anytime I got it way up in the air I'd lose a little bit of control it was sort of crazy I got worried at one point I thought I was going to fly away from me um, but I used the home button. There's a home button on the controls, and it did come right back. I actually had to walk out into the field to get it at one point because it came down hard. It was uh, 21 degrees out during this filming, and it lasted about 7 minutes. The battery pack, 7 minutes with Wi-Fi and camera work going. So, that, that wasn't too bad for me. 7 minutes in 21 degrees for this cheap little quadcopter perfect does take about an hour and a half to recharge though it says an hour in the instructions well that's bull it takes an hour and a half straight up if you run it all the way down um yeah that black dot the sun there that's pretty funny huh it does not like looking directly at the sun just overwhelm the camera but as you can see, I got a nice big field to practice in right here next to a school. Made it fun for me. Hopefully, this video will help you learn something. It's, um, the, the quadcopter Highlander does come with a VR mode. I do have VR goggles, and I use that. Not a real good flyer, let alone trying to do it in first-person view. FPV is what they're calling that. But... I had fun. You're about ready to see where I crashed it here. I was running out of battery power. So I decided to try and land it in the wind. And that was a little bit more difficult than maybe I thought it was going to be. But I think I could have done it if I would have not been so eager to land it before my battery power ran out. Because the lights were blinking. Oh, help me. There it is. Goodbye.